thank God for the testimony of that song. I thank God for all that he's done for me. And all that he's going to do for me. But if he never does anything else, he saved my soul. He gave me a mind to run on. Healed me with the Holy Ghost and gave me some backbone. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. You may be seated. Uh, important Bible class tonight. Uh, hopefully, it won't be long. Try to teach this in about 40 minutes. But I want you to understand that we are in the church to reflect the glory of God. Amen. This is the holiness church. The holiness church is the only authorized church by scripture. Follow peace with all men and holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. So we have to make up our mind that with the responsibility of holiness, mm -hmm. there are rules to follow that establish the credibility that one must have with God through obedience. Amen. And again, obedience is the criteria that proves your faith. Amen. If you obey God's word, you are proving your loyalty to God Amen. by the faith principle. We need to fully understand that attacks are going to come. Amen. And we can't choose uh, which attack we would like, uh, which cross, uh, rather which burden we want. Uh, now you have to just pick up your cross and follow after Christ. Yes, Lord. And we ought to understand that God is blessing this church above Amen. measure. And this is why the devil has so attacked true light. He hates true light. Yes. But I hate him back. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He hates me. But God loves me. Hallelujah. I said this edifice is paid for. If you got 500, if you got five, this church is paid for. And we ain't going nowhere. No. Hallelujah. Don't let nobody turn us around. Right. You got to be stronger than that. Yes. Praise yes. God. You got to have something in you nowadays. Yes. Amen. Let me open up in, uh, in Revelation 10th chapter. Amen. The scripture lets us know that in the word of God it comes to give you joy. Yes. But when the reality of the cross part sets in, amen, then it becomes a little bit of a struggle. Mm -hmm. This is why your joy is not based on your tests and trials. Your joy is based on the word of God. Yes. Amen. And he said, if you be faithful, he will be faithful unto you. Yes. He will bless you in this life and the life to come. I believe the word of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. And uh, I've run this race uh, too far now, Amen. too long, uh, to turn around now. Amen. 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 No, I ain't, that one, I ain't going nowhere. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Right. Praise God. I rejoice from my test coming. I rejoice from my trials coming. I know what God brought me from. I know what God has done for me. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Praise God. Revelation 10, right. chapter, right from verse 8. Amen. And the voice which I heard from heaven spake unto me again and said, Go and take the little book which is open in the hand of the angel which standeth upon the sea and upon the earth. Uh -huh. And I went unto the angel and said unto him, Give me the little book. And he said unto me, Take it and eat it up, and it shall make thy belly. Now the little book is the word of God. Amen. The divine truth. Yes. Amen. All right. Take it and eat it up. Eat it up. 
and it shall make thy belly bitter, Hallelujah. but it shall be in thy mouth sweet as honey. When, when the word first goes forth, you get happy, you want to shout, and praise God, you want to do everything. But when that cross starts coming to bear, when you got to realize that there is a discipline code to be followed, that there is a obedience code that must be followed, then the word, amen, it becomes now not so sweet when it begins to settle within you. See, it's all right when you hear it. But what about when you begin to have to apply it? Then it becomes a different story. But if you got the Holy Ghost, which is the power of God within you, then I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. Once I have the Holy Ghost, I don't back up to no demon spirit, no matter which direction it comes from. Hallelujah. And we can't compromise now. This is the holiness church. We're not Baptists. We're not Methodists. We're not Catholics. And we can't give in to placate a particular popular right. movement right. that happens to be going forward. I made mention the other night about this 12 year old girl yes. mm -hmm. and they found her clothes by a country road yes. and someone called me up this evening Amen. just before class and said you know they found the little girl's body mm -hmm. killed graveyard dead by some sexual maniac mm -hmm. I believe they said by watching YouTube uh, yes, watching these things my space mm -hmm. is that right Amen. when I give an instruction Amen. Amen. To the church it's not to make you unpopular with anyone mm -hmm. it's to bring you into a reality of the dispensation of time we're in when I came up I never heard of no sexual predators I never heard of that foolishness before I never heard of no child molesting when I come up yes. amen you heard of people robbing banks and getting drunk and killing people but you never heard of People killing children. Amen. It's weird. Amen. What, what, what is the? Where is the? Where's the thrill yes. in killing Hallelujah. an innocent child? Amen. But when the devil, through the Antichrist, has captivated the minds of people, there is no more sanity. There's no more stability in the guidance of the human character. And this is why we've got to stay in church and stay under the blood covenant. Because the enemy is alive and he's well. And he's very, very angry. Hallelujah. And he'll do anything he can to wound and hurt souls. But if we stay in church, ain't nothing going to happen to us. And we've got to stay prayerful. And we've got to understand the principles of right and wrong. And we've got to teach them. But when the place comes where you can't teach, nobody underneath you right from wrong, Amen. then it's time for you to make a separation. Amen. You're still holding before the Lord, Amen. but you got to make a separation. Amen. Hallelujah. Because you can't let nobody run over you. Amen. Hallelujah. Where did this mess come from? I'll do what I want to do. Act like I want to act. Mm -hmm. Where did it come from? It didn't come from the Bible and didn't come from the old folks. Hallelujah. Praise God. I was sharing with someone today when my brother came home on leave and he was 18 years old and I was younger than him and I was so happy to see him he'd come on his uniform on and everything and he was changing his civilian clothes he took a pack of cigarettes and laid them on the bed I said oh I'm going to tell mama you smoke he grabbed me and threw me across the bedroom and said you better not tell mama I smoke now he was 18 years old in the service but I'm showing you how much respect of fear that they had even at 18. I, 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 I ain't going to do I, At least if I do it, I ain't going to let mama know it. Amen. We, they put something in us then. Yeah. I shared with the church, we couldn't go to picture shows Amen. when we were small. Amen. But we would sneak off and go. Cost 10 cents. Mm. We sell a few pop bottles and a few milk bottles. At the time, you get 2 cents for a pop bottle and 2 cents for a milk bottle. Well, if you get 10 of them, hey man, you got you, got you some show fare. And, little, and, and praise Lord, and some candy Amen. money left over. Praise Lord. We sell us and hustle up some pop bottles and go see uh, uh, Roy Rogers and Trigger, Amen. the cowboy, Amen. and Trigger the horse. Amen. Amen. And there was a thunderstorm coming. And we in line, because on Saturday, movie houses back then in the 30s, late 30s, 
line, meet me at the door, see the picture show. But we weren't allowed to go, but we'd sneak off. 